Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have so much to talk about in the world of iOS 13 and jailbreaking. We're going to be covering three major topics, and while I highly recommend watching this video in its entirety because everything is basically intertwined, I will still have timestamps to certain segments down below in the description so you can skip to whichever ones most interest you. First and foremost, we're going to be talking about an update to the Uncover jailbreak app for iOS 13 through 13.3 on A13 and A13. 12 powered devices that vastly improves stability and support. And then we're going to be talking about an upcoming update to the Uncover jailbreak app that will actually allow those devices powered by A11 CPUs and older to jailbreak with Uncover. That's right. If you have an iPhone 10 or older, you will now have a choice or rather you will soon have a choice between jailbreaking with CheckRain or Uncover. So, so very exciting. And then to cap things off, we're going to be talking talking about the on-device jailbreak method, some stuff you need to know around that, and also how to utilize it if you're encountering any sort of complications. So if you don't have a computer, you can still do that, but you might run into some problems. We'll talk about all of that. So let's go ahead and just get started by first mentioning that down below in the description, I'm going to have two links for you guys. The very first one is the on computer jailbreak method. And this actual URL does contain a live status update for whether or not Uncover has been updated to include support for those older devices powered by A11 CPUs. So remember the iPhone 10 and older. If you have one of those devices, bookmark this URL. It's the first link below. And it will either contain this red no suggesting that Uncover has not yet been updated to include A11 support as it says right here or it will just have this green yes and that means that you're good to go and Uncover has already been updated so bookmark that URL keep checking it regularly and once it is released you'll have your full instructions right there and then next the second link is actually the no computer jailbreak guide on best tech info that does contain full download links and actually a link to the service as well including a full and complete video tutorial for how to jailbreak without a computer such great stuff but but let's go ahead and get into our first story today, talking about the new changes to Uncover for A12 and A13. Pwn started off this morning by basically tweeting that, quote, the upcoming update of the hashtag Uncover jailbreak will have 99% exploit reliability on iOS 13.0 through 13.3 with Jake James upcoming time waste exploit. That update will also fix support for iPhone 10R models running iOS 13.0 through 13.2.3. And now, of course, that is already out. And we're actually going to backtrack and talk about Jake James' new exploit in a little bit when we actually delve into support for older devices. That's why I said this is highly intertwined, but we're just going to be talking about the new update to uncover first and foremost. He followed it up by releasing version 4.1 actually he said quote uncover version 4.1.0 is now out now with 99% exploit reliability for 13.0 through 13.3 and fixes for compatibility issues and then there was actually another subsequent release hashtag uncover version 4.1.1 was released to fix a stability bug in the time waste exploit and this should fix a number of issues particularly for A12 users with iPhone 10 Rs. And this will also actually help with random reboots as well, version 4.1 and up. Now you can follow either guide down below in the description and at the time of watching this video, you'll most likely be able to get the latest version. Either way, the computer method, definitely you will, but the on-device method, you might have to wait a little bit. That is updated, but it does just depend on those signing services. But at any rate, you can see here that I already have the latest version, version 4.1.1 right here. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick demo showing you how simple it is to re-enable your jailbreak. I am already jailbroken. I do have Cydia, but you can see I'm in my unjailbroken state right now. So let's just go ahead and launch it up and tap on jailbreak. Now we actually no longer have to re-enter that airplane mode and reboot. That was a quick workaround that he did implement in a past update, but you can see it just works straight up now. I'm not in airplane mode. I'm connected to Wi-Fi, and it literally only took two seconds. That's just mind boggling to me, but let's go ahead and tap on okay. 
It's gonna respring now, and then it's going to put us at our lock screen, and I'll show you guys that Cydia does function properly. I mean, the stability of this jailbreak is just getting better and better. It was already fantastic out of the box with the first release version 4.0, but now it's even better than it's ever been before. So now that we are connected to Wi-Fi, let's go ahead and launch up Cydia. And you can see now that we are in our jailbroken state once more and everything functions just as expected. So this is the brand new update. And if you wanna get it on your device again, what you can do is delete it and then follow either of the tutorials down below in the description. So just delete it, delete the application, follow either of those guides and you will be good to go. Just get the application on your device again using either the alt store method or the on device method if that one works for you. Now let's get into support for older devices. So let's go ahead and launch up Safari here and we're going to actually backtrack, like I said previously, and we're going to switch on over to Jake James Twitter account. So a few days ago, actually, just if we bring this up here, it was yesterday, February 23rd, as of recording this video, he tweeted out an image suggesting he was going to push out a new exploit. He accompanied it by saying ETA Sun. And if we expand it, because it does give clues to potentially working on more offsets, in fact, every single one for all devices up to iOS 13.3, you can see that he does reply, actually saying that it will be for versions 13.0 through 13.3, on A9 through A13. So yes, guys, Uncover is actually going to be updated to include older device support because believe it or not, this exploit is now powering Uncover as we just talked about with the stability improvements. In fact, when we actually switch back to Pone's Twitter account, we can see here, a earlier tweet from before he actually pushed out version 4.1 and then 4.1.1, which do include that brand new exploit. He said, quote, successfully ran the hashtag uncover jailbreak on my iPhone 10, which was previously running hashtag check rain on iOS 13.3. The hashtag uncovered jailbreak will be updated for hashtag check rain compatible devices once I figure out a proper way to make it possible to switch between them at any time. So guys, it already does include an exploit capable of jailbreaking on those older devices as we knew it just needed that extra work that hacker Jake James put into it. He basically took the vulnerability that the exploit that Jake James released was based on and developed a new exploit around that. So fantastic stuff there. And uh, this is coming soon. In fact, he even followed that up saying that he needs testers as well. We have the release of Uncover with that new exploit, but now we just need the subsequent update for those older devices. And it looks like this is coming soon. No ETA right now, but he already has confirmed that it does work on his iPhone 10, and he just needs to finalize and perfect a way from switching between Chakrain and Uncover literally at any time, which will be so great for the community. I literally can't believe it. And like I said previously, definitely bookmark our jailbreak tutorial for Uncover because it does contain a status update as to whether or not it has been updated to include support for A11 and older. Now let's talk about the on-device jailbreak method. Remember, you can visit that link down below in the description, but let me just show you guys that this works for me. So I'm going to delete the previous installation of it and I'm just going to install it and I'm definitely not connected to any computer as you can see or not connected whatsoever, tapping on install. And then it's just going to add another uncover icon to my device's springboard here. And it just takes a second once it does actually go through the installing process. I'm going to swipe on over to the settings application followed by general and then device management. And then we're just going to trust it. And now that it is trusted, we can swipe over to the uncover page and or the uncover application rather. And there it is. Currently, it is an older version of the Uncover app. It's not 4.1.1, it's just 4.1, but at the point in time you're watching this video, it will likely be updated. So you can see this right here is the 
on device jailbreak method. I literally just obtained uncover and that's all you need to be able to jailbreak. Now, if you do run into complications where it crashes for you immediately upon opening it, first and foremost, I recommend just deleting it rebooting your device, trying again. That may solve your issue, but in most cases where you just have it continually crash, it won't actually solve your problem. It seems like that occurs if you've tried to download the Uncover application previously, maybe you deleted it, maybe it didn't download properly from a previous on-device signing service, and then you go to actually install it from a new one, then those kind of problems start to pop up. So. If that's you and if it just crashes, unfortunately, really the only method to solve that definitively is to go inside of the settings application. First of all, let me just close out of it really quick is to go inside of the settings application, go to general and then reset and then actually erase all content and settings. Now, I don't recommend doing this on your daily driver unless you have a backup. And as a very, very important note right here, if you have already jailbroken and you already have Cydia and you actually go to do this, you wanna erase all content and settings, you actually have to restore your root file system inside of Uncover first. And that's when it starts to become a chicken and egg situation. Like how do you get Uncover to work properly? I recommend utilizing the computer method if it just keeps crashing for you. And while technically in theory it would work to create an iCloud backup, you simply will not get all of your data. So it is best to actually utilize the computer. And at that point, you might as well use the computer jailbreak procedure. But if you have yet to jailbreak and or if you didn't have issues with Uncover crashing for you at launch, definitely give this a shot because it is by far the easiest method to jailbreak utilizing Uncover. And that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. I hope it helped you out. And just leave your comments and feedback down below in the comment section. Stay tuned for more. Literally, the jailbreak scene is on fire right now. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Thank you